When James Bostick decided to open up his own engine machine shop, he cashed out his retirement, bought some machines, and founded Bostick Racing Engines in El Cajon, California in 2008. Fast forward 12 years, and James now has a couple employees and a new 1,900 square foot facility. With a focus on marine, Bostick does engine work for jet boats, river hot rods, and drag boats, among others, but that doesn't mean he won't take on other applications. The shop will do automotive engines and even some restoration jobs too, and all the work on a Bostick engine is done entirely in-house. Speaking of marine engines, however, Bostick recently finished up a 605 cubic inch drag boat engine for a repeat customer looking to move up a class. We'll give you the details in this episode of Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrain. Precision, performance, Pengrain. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts. Everything for your LS engine. Hey everyone, I'm Crystal Smith with Engine Builder, and today we're talking about a 605 cubic inch drag boat engine built by Bostic Racing Engines. This particular customer had Bostic built engines in the past, but most recently, a 468 cubic inch single carb engine. As they moved up classes, Bostic added more nitrous, but that only got them so far. Here's James to tell you more. That was always the plan, was they eventually they wanted to run the, the ADBA you know, Lucas Racing QE class. Which, you know, I mean, you gotta make probably about 13, 1400, yeah, about 1300 horsepower to do. They just finished, you know, a season getting used to the boat and everything with the old engine. Um, you yeah, know, like three, four years on the same engine. So they were racing that year. We just started gathering up parts and just kind of, we came up with a plan. We wanted something that was kind of big inch, nothing real strung out, kind of user friendly, low on the maintenance and easy on parts. So that's why we went with a larger inch deal. Kind of started gathering parts and then started putting, you know, machining it all up and kind of putting it together. I mean, we started off with, uh, I mean, we had like the Edelbrock 14 degree heads we went through and, you know, I we went and hand, hand blend ported them and everything. And basically, we just had to have a lot of stuff we ended up having to have made because it was, the, you know, it was the first time that some of these companies had dealt with these heads before. So we picked them because they were very nitrous friendly, you know, something that was gonna be not real fidgety on the tuning and stuff. The block for the 605 came from World Products, which Bostic Racing Engines machined in order to get the proper clearances they wanted. From there, the shop finished the valve job and sent the heads to CP so they could make models to spec the right pistons for the engine. In addition to CP pistons, the drag boat engine got equipped with mainly valves, a new crank and rods, Jessel shaft rockers, a Schneider cam, Clevite coated bearings, Crower lifters, Manton push rods, a pair of Holly 1050 dominators, a Profiler tunnel ram intake, an Edelbrock fogger, and a daily engineering dry sump oiling system. I mean, a couple places where I had problems was one, trying to get the pistons to work with the head as far as trying to get enough dome volume without things running, you know, running into each other. Pistons hitting valves and stuff like that. And then the other thing we ran into was trying to get everything, the rods and crank and everything to fit in the crankcase without hitting places, you know, having to clearance it all out and everything. Straightforward. Nothing overly complicated or anything, but those were just kind of little things that made it to where it wasn't a matter of just ordering up out of your summit catalog and then just throwing a pile of parts together. Once Bostic had the engine assembled and ready to run, he took it to West Tech for dyno work. That evaluation proved the 605 cubic inch engine with a 14 to 1 compression ratio could churn out more than 1100 horsepower at 7300 RPM and 900 pound feet of torque. With a small nitrous tune, the engine made 1400 horsepower and more than 1100 pound feet of torque. So when we wanted to have to turn to 8,000 RPM, so I figured the lower, on um, lower 7,000 RPM range, um, it'd be a lot easier on parts. It was the smallest nitro, it was basically the smallest tune-up we could put in the fogger that made for, so it really likes the nitrous, which is, that's kind of the way we canned it and geared everything towards where, yeah, it's going to run good on the motor, but we really want it to shine on nitrous. Clearly, the engine liked the nitrous. 
On just a 250 shot of nitrous, the engine picked up 300 horsepower. With a larger tune, this engine could get up to about 1600 horsepower, according to Bostic. All that's left to do now is have some fun on the water. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email our editor, Greg Jones, at gjones at babcox.com. Thanks for watching.